you guys. How does it look? I'm almost near completion. It's only been a couple days or so since I took the last video. This is the hybrid Reef Breeders VS50 LED fixture, 48 inch plus two single T5 high output with the blue plus. Uh, they're not ATI bulbs, but they're blue coral lux. Um, they're the same color exactly. I had them running with ATIs, and you can't tell the difference. CH, CH lighting. Coral Lux grow, I think it. Blue. Blue Lux coral. 50, 54 watt bulbs. <coughs> I was able to stain the wood frame for the T5s. Now this is upside down, of course, and um, the T, the LED, the the Reef Breeders LED fixture is actually holding up. Will be holding up the frame. Now I'm just gonna. This is upside down, mind you, of course. So I know you know that. So uh, this is just laying down in there. But I wanted to show you the frame. And it's easy. Nothing, uh, nothing on the LED or T5 frame is bolted or nothing. The T5 frame just sits down on the reef breeders when you flip it around. It'll be sitting down, and it's got cross braces to keep it from uh, to keep it up. So let me remove this because I want to show you how it looks. Remove the reef breeders so you can see how I constructed. Get a better idea. You know if the lighting is so great that way. Let's get over here. Now I did angle. Uh, maybe I should have left it. Now you can see it better this way, guys. I did angle the bulb slightly, almost like on a thirty-degree angle. For one, one reason, um, I believe this is the back side. Now, if I was to turn it straight, the width of this frame is about uh, 13 inches or so. It would be 8 plus 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 with the the T5s and if I was to turn this one straight this would be blasting the plastic cover strip that I have on my glass top to keep the moisture and the fish from jumping out um, I really didn't necessarily want it blasting straight down onto the plastic so this will be angled towards the front bottom of the tank and this will be angled towards the rear bottom which will give me complete coverage and for number two reason, hopefully, not so much the back one, but the front one being angled will keep the glare when I'm trying to look at the tank, like if I'm sitting down in a chair or something. Let me flip this over. I'm just waiting to complete the wiring, guys. Just be real gentle. It's okay. As you can see, I've drilled holes through the braces. The small braces on top. It's roughly about a quarter inch hole. It's enough to get four, six wires through comfortably. Well, not comfortably, but snugly. But I didn't need to go that route. I'm gonna be. I've routed the yellow wires this way. So when the bulb sockets come in, there'll be two wires each. This I think will go on each outer wire one single and then I'll make a jumper I believe that's how it's wired I'm just waiting on some more uh, I actually ordered some yellow wire when I needed some blue and uh, some red I, I did manage to get some blue and red but I don't know if it's long enough 
I just ordered 25 feet of yellow, but I will need some more yellow. So there's a hole in each brace, and then uh, I use the countersink uh, 1 8 drill, and so I can get the countersink, uh, what do they call these, uh, Phillips, and they are chamfered, so I wanted it flush, and I use the bit that drills through and countersinks the hole. I did make one mistake and drilled through the brace here for my, uh, I believe it was for the standoff. It's okay, I'll fill it in. It's no big deal. Nobody's going to see it, but. So, yeah, um, I'm just waiting for the bulb sockets, and we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, it won't take long at all to wire it up. I'll hook a power cord up to it. And I use these, I uh, wanted to show you how I use standoffs. I don't know if you can see this. You can see I use Delrons. Uh, they're like nylon, real hard Delron, it's called. Delron standoffs. They are hollow, so I could get a screw through. Underneath the bulb, there's a screw that goes through and into the frame. To keep the reflector off the frame, I didn't want the reflector actually on the frame. And that allow me to clear the LED fixture uh, a lot more easily. There we have it, guys. Just a short video to show you. I hope you like it. Um, now, if I would have made this a four bulb ballast, which I do have, and and just you know, I could have bought a two bulb reflector, and. Um, with the frame and a four bulb ballast and a two bulb reflector on each side, I believe they're selling them right now. I looked at one today. They're they're going for like near four hundred dollars, guys. Um, of course, they're made at, at a company and they're made out of uh, steel or whatever. But this didn't cost me anything. I had this wood out in the garage. Um, the polyurethane came out pretty good, huh, guys? You like that? pretty nice I'm gonna leave the LED fixture off for now because uh, I did get some wire in but you know what I really can't wire it up anyway until I have the socket so I'm gonna put it back on show you guys one last time drop this baby this is a uh, I paid near 700 uh, near 600 for this they go for about 699 or so when they're in you they're not cheap guys you don't want to drop something like this so I don't and it just lays right in there and that's how the um the frame is going to uh, just lay right on top of the LED fixture. I don't want this to fall. I think I'm good there. There you have it. Reef Breeders VS50 LED 48 inch light fixture with two single T5 high output Blue Lux Coral Bulbs. 54 watt each. Do it yourself. I'll see you guys later and I'll be back after I have it hooked up and operational. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you this inspires you that anything's possible. You can make anything happen. You don't have to spend the three, four hundred dollars. If you have scrap, you know, if you had a four, a four foot, three quarter inch board by three inches wide, you can make this uh, frame very easily. And you can make something like this for any LED fixture. You can make it for the, the Radions or the, and they call them AI or AL Sols or AI Sols whatever they're called, which are very small compared to this fixture, but uh, nevertheless, 
It can be done with a little patience and some imagination. This is Reefer James, Reefer James Underground. Take care. God bless. Let it roll.